Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the different musical modes that we can find in flamenco music. And I'm going to be playing for you some examples of those musical modes. Hi, I'm John Lix Feliciano and before we start talking about the different musical modes that we can find in flamenco, it's important to know that flamenco is divided into different styles. Imagine flamenco is a tree and the tree has branches so each branch is going to be a different style. Each branch has its own little branches like variants so each style may have variants depending on where in Andalusia or Spain in general it comes from. In Spanish the different styles in flamenco are commonly known as flamenco palos. Palos literally means stick or in this case branches. Now let's get into it. The different musical modes that we can find in flamenco are the major mode, the minor mode, and the flamenco mode. I'm not going to spend time explaining the major or minor mode, but I am going to play a few examples of flamenco styles, flamenco palos that are in these musical modes. Two examples of flamenco styles, flamenco palos that are in major mode are Cantinas, commonly known as Alegrías, but in a future video I may explain why it's really called Cantinas. And Guajiras. Next mode is the minor mode, especially the harmonic minor. You may see the melodic minor being used, but it's actually being used as a way of finding new ways to accompany a flamenco singer, a flamenco cantaor, or a new way to write um, flamenco guitar solo pieces, for example. It may be used as a scale, for example, if you're playing an A minor then you go to an E7 chord. Maybe you want to add this little melodic line to go to the A instead of. The natural minor mode is barely used to be honest. You may see it on a solo guitar piece as well but it's not really used. Two examples of flamenco styles flamenco palos that are in minor mode are farrucas and peteneras but definitely not least, the flamenco mode. I'm gonna start off by playing the flamenco scale, the scale from of this mode. We're gonna play it in E, okay? E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, D, and E again. Some people also play it like this. E, F, G, G sharp, A, B, C, D, and E. So the flamenco scale basically is half step, whole and a half, half step, Let's do it in another key, for example, in A. So 
So A, B flat, C sharp, D, E, F, G, and A again. You may think, what's the difference between the flamenco scale and the harmonic scale? Basically, the difference is where you start. So if you're in A harmonic minor, you will do this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, and A. But instead of starting in A, we start in E. E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, D, and E. The trick is to actually make it sound as the E as the tonic. Let's take one of the flamenco styles, one of the flamenco palos that we played previously, la farruca, and let's see. So la farruca is in A minor, right? When I kind of end the chord progression, you will see that it kind of rests in A minor. different flamenco palo that is actually in the flamenco mode you will see that it actually rests in the E instead of the A for example here is a solia in E flamenco So here are a few examples of flamenco styles, flamenco palos that are in this flamenco mode that I'm talking about. You have tangos in A flamenco, not to be confused with the Argentinian tangos. These are, let's say full name is tangos flamencos. <laughs> also in A flamenco. In some of the flamenco palos that I played as examples of the flamenco mode, you may have noticed that I wasn't always playing the flamenco scale as it is. Sometimes I'm just playing regular Frisian, let's say like that. This is because when you're playing a flamenco palo that is in flamenco mode, you will most likely always use the Andalusian cadence. What's the Andalusian cadence? Basically, it's a chord progression. If you're gonna do it in E flamenco, then it's A minor, G, F and E major. You play the A minor and then the G that doesn't have a D sharp like the E major chord. Let's take another example. Let's do A flamenco. So you have D minor, C major, B flat major, and A major. The note that makes A major is C sharp. But when we're playing the Andalusian cadence, first is D minor and then C major. So we don't have that C sharp. We have then B flat and then we have that C sharp as a third of the chord in A major. What does this tell you? That you're gonna add that note that note that makes the tonic major 
when you're going to that one chord, to that E chord or A chord, depends on which tonality you're playing. Maybe you notice, maybe you don't. In music, each major scale has a relative natural minor scale. It means that the major scale is going to have the same notes as the minor scale, but starting from a different point. Let's take, for example, C. Right? It's C, D, D, F, G, A, B, C. If we play A minor, we're going to play the same notes, but starting in A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. But this also happens in flamenco. If you want to find the relative flamenco scale, for a major scale, you just have to look for the third of that major scale. If we take, for example, again, C major, the third in the C major scale is E. First is C, second is D, and third is E. So from here, we can build our flamenco scale, but only changing one note. For example, we take E, let's take it from a lower octave. So we take E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, D, E. We only had to change one note for in order to make it really flamenco. If we want to find from a minor scale the relative flamenco, we have to look at the fifth. Okay? Let's take for example A minor which is A is first, B is second, C is third, D is fourth, and E is the fifth. So we have the same conclusion. Let's think of it this way. C major, A minor, natural minor, and E flamenco, with the exception of one note, the third in E flamenco, are the same scale. And if we look at it, and we kind of build a chord from that, that's like the A minor chord, because we have A, C, and E. So that's kind of a trick that I use. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope uh, it helps you understand how flamenco works. I plan to upload more videos explaining different things about flamenco, especially things to help understand it and to help musicians that are not maybe are not really interested on becoming flamenco players but just want to add a little that flamenco feel to their music please like the video and subscribe to to the channel um, it will motivate me to <laughs> to do more videos you can follow me on instagram i'm gonna post the link below you can like my facebook page also the link below and if you have any questions or any doubts about flamenco uh, you can leave them in the comments you may give me ideas to make new videos and yeah i really appreciate it and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can until next time